everyone, my name is Harrison and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to destroy an actor on overlap. Let's go ahead and look at the final product right now. Let's push play. So we have this cone right here with a simple overlap. We go over it and it is destroyed. This would be used for maybe an ammo pickup or a, a, or a health kit or something like that. So let's go ahead and delete it from the game world and recreate it in C++. Again, you don't have to watch the video. There should be a GitHub link down in the description below if you just want to take the code and move along. But if not, let's continue with the video. Okay, right click, new C++ class, choose actor, next. I believe I'm going to call it destroy actor on overlap. Create class. Okay, awesome. The engine created the header and the CPP file for us. Uh, right now I'm using Visual Studio Code. It'll probably open up your uh, editor of choice. So right now we're in the header file. Let's go ahead and set up our variables. First do a U property visible anywhere. And we're gonna do a U sphere component. Oh shoot, let's uh, increase the font real quick. Um, settings, 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 preferences. That should be better. Twenty-four. Uh, class use sphere component. A uh, pointer. I call it my collision sphere. Semicolon. Next, we're going to create a static mesh. Visible anywhere. I have a typo up here. Let me correct that. Class. Use static mesh component. I'm going to call it my mesh. Semicolon. And now I'm just going to create a basic float because we'll just use a float for the sphere radius later on. And now we're going to do a U function for overlap. Uh, I'm going to use this function that's in the documentation on component begin overlap. This link will be down in the, in the description below. But let me just go ahead and grab it. And I'll clean it up right here. I'm going to call it on overlap begin. And that should be good for the header file. Let's save it and jump over to the CPP file. The first thing we want to do is include uh, draw debug helpers and our use sphere component. Include draw debug helpers. And this will help us visualize the overlapping circle. And then we want to include the U-Sphere component so we can have access to it. Sphere component, All right? That's gold, right? .h. All right, now let's move into our constructor file and then set the default values. For sphere radius, I'm just going to go ahead and set it to 100. You can set it to whatever float you want. So my collision sphere, which is the use sphere component that we set up in the header file, we're going to do create default sub object use sphere component. Set up the text with it. Just call it my sphere component. Semicolon, close that out. Uh, now we're going to set the initial radius. Uh, arrow pointer or pointer operator uh, init sphere radius. And we're going to go ahead and pass in the sphere radius float that we made up above. Uh, we're going to set the collision profile name so we don't have to do it later on. You can always do it inside the editor itself, but sometimes we'll just, I guess, save a second here. 
set collision it's set collision profile name right profile name and we're going to set to trigger and we're also going to set it as the root component my collision sphere so that's it for the collision sphere let's move on to the mesh my mesh that we defined in the header file we're going to do a create default sub object uh, use stack mesh you stack mesh component uh, set up the text and we'll just call it my mesh semicolon and we're going to uh, attach it to the root component so it's going to be my mesh arrow operator set up attachment uh, root component I think I spelled it all right uh, now we want to connect the overlapping function to the component, to the use sphere component. So we do my collision sphere, uh, arrow operator, on component, begin overlap, dot, uh, add dynamic. We're targeting this actor and we're referencing this actor's on overlap function. So on referencing a destroy actor on overlap on overlap begin. Uh, and we'll create that function in just a second. Semicolon, that should be it for the constructor function. Uh, let's move on down into our tick function. And we just wanna draw the circle around it um, every tick and then when it's no longer alive then the then the sphere will obviously go away so draw a debug uh, sphere get world uh, get actor location it's going to be as big as the sphere radius that we defined above at the 100 unreal units um, 20 cutouts. We'll set the color. So it's a purple. Why not? Uh, false to always redraw itself. Just draw itself for that one tick. Uh, negative one, zero, and it'll be a length of one. Zero. Semicolon that out. Now let's do our overlap function. I'm just going to again grab it from over here. Just because it has a lot of parameters. I'm going to save some time. Uh, a destroy actor on overlap. Uh, colon colon. Now let's create this function. Uh, let's do our checks. Um, if the other actor does not equal null. Or is not a null pointer, and if the other actor does not equal itself, so it does not equal this, and if the other component, did I other comp? Yeah, other comp does not equal a null pointer as well. So if that results to true. We want to destroy the actor. And that's the method we're looking for. So on overlap, we're just going to destroy it. Destroy it. Every actor has it. So let's compile it, see if we have any errors, and see if we can make it happen. All right, I have an error somewhere. Let me check it out. I have a missing semicolon on line 37. In the header file, 37, uh, right here. Redo it, see if it's successful. If not, we'll figure it out. Okay, that was a successful compile. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into the game world. Uh, destroy actor on overlap. 
We have that. I'm gonna go into the details panel, set up the static mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and just search for cone, put in the cone there, push play. So we have that actor with the debug sphere around it. Let's go ahead and overlap it. And there it goes, now it's destroyed. Let's go ahead and play it again. It's there, and then probably in a later tutorial, I'll, I'll try to link it up to a health meter as well. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.